extremely dysregulated right now and if you can't tell it's because it's the teasum. I am um, actually it's a miracle that I can talk right now. Um I'm not really sure what to say, how to go about it because I am trying not to go in full shutdown and full freeze mode. I'm basically mostly trying to implement the training that I've been using for years and years now. One of it is like very similar to EMDR. Uh, it's called the Havening Technique. EMDR, you tap like this. Uh, you use bilateral uh, stimulation, which is, I think, is almost identical because the havening technique is just you rub your uh, upper arms and oil your face. Um, it's uh, and then you also go like that. If you're not familiar with this, you can just. Uh, YouTube search it. It's called EMDR. I think eye movement something DR regulation um, and it's supposed to help you process emotions and trauma. It's uh, usually used in PTSD management and CPTSD which is complex post-traumatic disorder. Usually it's involved like repetitive uh, you know, mild trauma throughout childhood that is compounding and is embedded in your body and you know, it can trigger a lot of um, dysregulation in your body. So this is Turkish bread that we bought yesterday. I bought yesterday. I cut it in half and then I slice it in half as well. So that it's easier to just put it in the toaster and ready to go. I saw on TikTok like someone basically washed their toaster. Like literally just like a dishwashing. That is like a plate and just, you know, you wash it like that. And I'm like, it's electricity. It's not going to get broken. I don't dare to do that. I'm scared. I'm not able to process what's going on. I'm just trying to survive through this episode right now. And then maybe if I have the capacity, mental capacity in the far, far future, I'll process it then. But for right now, I'm just trying to get back to regulation. Like, 20 years ago, I don't even use the word tired or stress because I thought that's just an excuse. And I remember 20 years ago, maybe it was my first time experiencing a panic attack, like an anxiety attack. It was because of the same thing again and like I was receiving news that the same news and then I was working back then still. Uh, it was in corporate so I was just doing admin. My general manager back then was Canadian. She was like 9 years older than me. I was like 20, 21. And I was still smoking back then. Kids don't smoke. Um, we were on a smoke break. And then um, I was telling her what was like the news that I received. And suddenly I cried uncontrollably. I did not know what was happening. Because she was white. And I'm Asian. She was like, the first response was very humanly response. Like, you know, she was reaching out for me and trying to embrace me and trying to calm me down by hugging and tapping at the back of my, you know, at the back. And that's a normal response. Like, even primates do it. But because I did not grow up in that kind of environment whatsoever, as soon as she touched me, I was like, felt as if that I was being startled. Like, oh, what's going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you touching me? Like, it was a human response. And, like, I don't know, maybe because I'm autistic. Like, when I was studying the heavening technique via YouTube, um, I have to have that explanation in my brain. It's like, and when you do this, or when you do this, you are triggering a delta wave inside your brain. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but but like this is what I understood from like watching all of things like on YouTube. You are triggering the delta wave in your brain. Um, the delta wave helps process emotion, especially traumatic emotion, for it to not stuck in a loop, so that it can be processed and like has it like pass, just like any other emotions, happiness, sadness that you experience it and then it doesn't stay it passes and then you get processed into the long-term memory it's like from my understanding what happens is when you have traumatic experience or traumatic feelings or whatever it is traumatic and stuff and then it doesn't get moved to the long-term memory and Therefore, it wasn't processed properly because I think trauma response anxiety is like you are bringing the future into the now, but that fear is being lived on like repetitively, which in the past usually caused me to go into fight and flight, which it did, and then it would go to freeze, which it did. Usually, I would, in the past, I would do something immediately, like it's very reactive. And I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying not to be reactive straight from relation that was given as a trigger point. Meaning like, in the past, I would get triggered and then I would react straight away. And I would make a bunch of decisions and I would took a lot of actions. And then... Kind of just like trying to escape or trying to fight it or trying to be a fawning in my in my case um, my trigger my trigger response is not fight or flight my trigger response is freeze and fawn which means like I go and please people but that's not beneficial for me but I'm just trying to survive and hopefully I can get my body back and my head back and I feel so unfair like I just feel like life is so unfair when will I catch a break no not a break like a total U-turn it's just so draining and exhausting <sighs>